Hi everyone, Kansi here from Atop Serenity Hill. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to share a project that, as you can see, I've done a few times before. Um, DIY washi tape, making your own handmade, homemade washi tape. And I, I put these out to show you uh, what I'm going to encourage you not to do and what surface I'm going to encourage you to try. Um, but before we do that, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, the link is below and at the end of the video if you love it Please give me a thumbs up and I would love it if you would share the video with those in your circle. Thank you so much Now DIY washi tape. I make it with masking tape That's what my preferred is. Uh, I like that. It's a little bit on the stickier side um, And masking tape obviously comes in different widths. Uh, I found it where it's also uh, you can see here I have it in different widths. This was from someone else's place that I was making it at, and then this is mine here. And it also comes somewhat yellow, sometimes a little more on the lighter beige side. And this brand is a Scotch brand. I don't think it really matters. Um, but when I made it originally, I did it on plastic storage bags, like a Ziploc bag. And this is another bag that, you know, something was mailed to me in. And it worked fine for me, but I did have a couple students who had trouble getting their masking tape off the plastic bag. It was ripping the plastic bag. So the other alternative, which, you know, please feel free to try it. If you have done it before on the plastic bag, go for it. You can just put a couple strips and see if it works. But the alternative is to use either a sheet protector because it's really hard to, you know, rip a binder sheet protector, something that you put in a binder, or a piece of acetate, which is also a little difficult to rip. Um, the tape can't rip it, so it would might stick really hard, but it will work. So that's what I'm going to use today. Um, the other thing I would encourage you is if you have done it on the plastic bag and the plastic bag sticks to the tape, then just don't throw it away, just use like a matte medium or glue, some kind of glue, glue stick, whatever glue is your preference. Um, matte medium probably would work really well to glue it into your art journals and your projects because you've still got something beautiful here. It just happens to have shiny plastic on the back. And if you play with magazine um, pictures, you know that they're glossy. So we end up putting matte medium or something on them anyway. Okay, so don't throw them away. So I've got my piece of acetate, I've got my masking tape, and then I just gathered a collection of stamps because I'm gonna play on a surface that's only, you know, this is skinny. So I grabbed a bunch of, of my smaller little stamps that I've made. I grabbed some stencils with some interesting shapes. And for doing the washi tape, you know, this is, an Easter egg, but it has these really great long patterns that would be fun to put on your, you know, on a length of the washi tape. So don't be afraid to pull out, you know, your stencils that are not necessarily in that hollow. We're not in that hollow tape, but you could still use it. It's fine. Um, I'm using acrylic paints. You could use whatever you want. You can use watercolor if that's your preference. Um, I do have white gesso handy because uh, I like this brand, the Crafters Workshop. But any gesso will work because I'm not a fan necessarily of this yellow color. So I'm going to put a quick layer of gesso on it just to take the yellow off and let the acrylic paint shine. Because some of the acrylic paints that I'm using... Or, you know can be a little bit on the transparent side and then that yellow will be blending with the blue okay so bear that in mind um, I have some Posca paint pens and then you know whatever else I feel like adding to it as I go I will play with it so the reason I like making my own washi tape is because I get extremely bored uh, with traditional washi tapes in that I love it for you know about three feet and then I'm bored. And then I still have this you know, enormous amount of washi tape to have to use up. And I'd rather just have smaller bits of washi tape to play with. So this is a way to, whoops, have just, you know, a nice little foot of something unique and 
I can match it to a project if I was working on a project. I do love to make cardboard journals, which we use this masking tape for. I'll link the video below for that cardboard journal that I'm talking about. And, you know, if you were doing it in specific colors or for someone, instead of just using plain masking tape, you could make the, whoops, and this is how you have small pieces. Um, <laughs> you, could, you could make a bunch of washi tape to glue the cardboard journal together that matches the project that you're, you know, in ultimately going to do. So I'm going to put down my masking tape. Then I'm going to put a layer of white gesso on top and let it dry. And I, I won't, I'm not going to try, it's, it, I should say you can try heat setting it, but be really careful that you don't adhere your masking tape to your surface, okay? Um, and you don't want to melt the the acetate. So heat setting it and, and getting it to dry fast is not always the best option. So give yourself some time, pause the video whenever you have to, and then just let it dry in between as opposed to trying to get it to heat set itself really fast. Okay, so I'm going to tape down the rest of my masking tape, put the gesso on, and we'll meet you back here and we'll play. All right, so my washi tape is on, and I'm just on a piece of paper, by the way, in case that wasn't evident. And it's almost dry, but I don't really, I don't need it to be super dry because it could be interesting to mix some of the colors up. I did pull out some, oops, color schemes, like a little, some, a trio of blue, a trio of green, and a trio of orange. There we go. But I'm just going to kind of play and see. It might be more random. Uh, my samples, as you can see, were all the colors because I was, this was based on a project I was doing, which was all the colors. So you can do it so that you have, you know, specific colors of washi tape, or you can just randomly dash across all of them. I think I'll do a mix for you. So I'm going to add some paint to everything and see where we go from there.
right, so I have my base colors down and some worked really good. Some were like, well, experiment. I just wanted to put colors down. Same thing with here, like things got muddy or this doesn't transition great. And the idea is not necessarily to use this as one big washi strip, at least in my, from for the way I use washi tape. I tend to use it in bits and add little pieces here and there. So don't be afraid to let the colors be ugly and muddy. I didn't even notice that this part right here had no tape. So it's really just that section and that and then this. So that as much as I played with the color won't matter. Although when I pull this up I might have some interesting pieces on the acetate to also use um, in an art journal. So from here I'm just going to start adding some stenciling layers and some mark making. I'm just going to play and see what happens. Um, again, I have my stencils and my stamps. I've got my my Posca pens for some doodle marks. Um, I might add some colored pencils. Uh, I just don't know. I, I want to just see what happens and, and start playing until it decides that it's done, when it stops talking to me. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this. Um, you're making it and that you try it on your own. Just remember to play, have fun with it. It's an experiment. In the end, it's a piece of acetate and some masking tape, a bit of supplies. Nothing should be precious. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work and you don't like the colors, um, offer to trade it with a friend who probably will love it. So, you know, just use it as a process of tapping into your creativity and playing with color and supplies. And you might surprise yourself, okay? So let's get to playing.
All right, so I've played as much as I feel. I mean, it is busy, people, busy. But I also don't have just the strip. So I'm going to transfer some of it onto this so that you can see. Let's do it this way. Put this on here. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, we'll start with a little one over here. Cool. See when it sits by itself. Super interesting. So I'm going to peel them off. So that, uh, because uh, one, I also would like to see what they look like. And I do, I want to be able to maybe, oops, see, went up on, I already ruined that one. Not ruined it, but I lost part of that one. Because I pulled it on top of it. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, I'm going to rip them off. I'm going to transfer them from this to this. The reason being is that I would like you to be able to see what they look like afterwards, okay? All right, so that's what it looks like once it's peeled apart, which is just beautiful. I love, where's the one? Oh, this leaf one. Love how that came out. So you can see it went from super busy. I still have, I could use this for something. I'm not sure what, but I do have this available. Looks like that, what's left over. But then I also have all these washies that are now on a new piece of acetate that I can see what they look like. So it's easier for me to use them in my journals because now I can, it's not this giant busy piece that I don't know what it looks like. And honestly, they came out beautiful. I love them. All right. So I hope this gives you a new idea of just playing. Um, worst comes to worst, you just have this cute sheet of tape that you love. Uh, you, If you can use this piece of acetate for something, it might make a really fun journal cover, honestly. Um, then you have that as well as an extra piece. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in another video. Thanks, friends.